in this problem we're being asked to graph this rational function. And it do doesn't look like it's too complicated of a rational function. And the steps here we're going to uh, go through are to find the asymptotes first and then to just try some points and see what kind of a shape we start to get. So that's the basic approach. So let's work on the asymptotes. Uh, we check first for the vertical asymptotes. And the vertical asymptotes are where the denominator equals 0, as long as this is in simplest form. But this uh, looks pretty simple. There's nothing I can really factor between the top and the bottom to, to simplify. So I can just set this denominator equal to 0 and solve for it. So I get negative x equals 2. Divide that by negative 1. And we get x equals negative 2. So I'll go ahead and plot that line, x equals negative 2. <clears throat> All right, next we want to check for a horizontal asymptote. And in this case, the degree of the, the numerator is 0. We don't have an x term. The degree of the denominator is 1. So the denominator is bigger than the numerator in degree. And that's this situation here. Here it says if the, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. So we can just plot that asymptote along this axis. All right, so we've got our asymptotes. And it's divided this graph up into four areas. So you can imagine with a typical rational function, we're going to either have a lobe here and a lobe here, or maybe a lobe here and a lobe here. So how do you know? Well, you can start by just plotting some points that are on the graph. And I always like to start simple. So let's start with x equals 0 and see what happens. So if I put in 0 for x, I'm going to get negative 4 over negative 2. That's a positive 2. So the point 0, 2 is on here. OK. Let's try, um, well, we can't try. Well, let's try 2 for x. So if I put in 2 for x, that's a negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 4. We'd get a negative 4 divided by a negative 4. That would be a positive 1. So the point 2, 1 is on here. And if we picked another point further out, you'd see that this line is slowly approaching that way. And as we get closer to this one, this line is slowly approaching that way. So two points may be enough for you. You may want to try a couple more. But basically, we can just sort of sketch in something like that. All right. Now we should probably try some points either below the y-axis or on the other side of this asymptote. Let's think about maybe um, putting in a negative 3 for x. If I put in negative 3 here, a negative negative 3 is a positive 3, so that makes a 1 on the bottom. So I'd get negative 4 over 1, or just negative 4. So the point negative 3, negative 4 is on here. OK, let's try a negative 4. A negative negative 4 is a positive 4 minus 2 is 2. So that's negative 4 over 2, or negative 2. So negative 4, negative 2 is on here. And we can plot some more points like that. We could probably put in a 5 here. Let's just put in a negative 5. So negative 5. Negative negative 5 is a positive 5, so we'd get a 3 on the bottom, negative 4 thirds. So negative 1 and a third would put us right there. And you can see we're starting to curve this direction. So at this point, we can probably pretty confidently sketch in this like this. And there are our two arms of our rational function approaching the asymptotes on either side. So that is how to graph a rational function.